2016 is looking to be a pretty good year. That is, as long as we don't destroy the planet. Welcome back to Interest Things. My name is Jack O'Brien. It's no secret that Donald Trump isn't very sympathetic to the environment. Many people have recently voiced their concerns about the future of the environment now that Trump is in office. So the real question is what's going to happen? Now the next four years of the United States government's involvement with protecting the environment will be little to none, but this doesn't mean that there will be no environmental reform going on and there are many different ways that this can occur. As new forms of energy such as solar continue to get cheaper, people People will make the switch regardless of their opinions on the environment. It's just basic economics. So the real question is what's going to happen in the 2020 election? I mean, if the corruption is going to be this bad, it's going to be likely that Trump will not get voted in again. But don't get me wrong, we don't have to wait until then. Regardless of Trump's stances on the environment, he will likely support electric and autonomous vehicles because he wants to help the tech industry in the United States. This was made clear during the tech summit when Trump met with many CEOs from the tech industry such as Elon Musk and Uber's CEO. Both men were added to Trump's economic advisory committee and will be working with Trump over the next four years. So basically what this means is that you can't stop science, baby. Solar energy, battery technology, AI, everything. It's all getting better and more efficient. As these technologies such as solar energy continue to get cheaper, we will see change happen regardless of people's stances on the environment and their opinions on climate change. Even though climate change is a fact, not an opinion. And just because the United States is taking a step backwards doesn't mean that the rest of the world will. Many countries from the Paris Agreement have agreed to stick to the agreement regardless of what other countries do. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, <coughs> America. And we are already seeing countries such as China and India building massive solar farms, and this is just the beginning of a whole new wave of solar energy plants to come. So Donald Trump has the power to destroy the world, but it will be a whole lot easier if people and countries don't stand up and say they want change. It's clear that the government cannot help us with everything, and over the next four years we will need to make decisions that will impact the future. And we all vote through the purchases we make every day. So what do you guys think? Do you think America really will take a turn in the wrong direction? Let me know in the comments down below, and don't forget to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget to bell me, and I'll see you guys in the next one.